Oh man, my channel, it's dying. I need to do something. Oh, what did I upload on Christmas that got so much fucking traffic? Oh, I know what it is. Well, I'm not gonna freaking react to them, but I'm just gonna listen to a couple songs and give you my quick thoughts on them. 189,000. Can you believe it? He's so popular right now. And they probably saw this white kid who was like, oh, what the fuck is this kid doing? You know, why does he keep looking at the camera every couple seconds? I'll probably do uh, King and I Spoke to the Devil in Miami. Those are the two songs I'm gonna do. Well, I just listened to King. And yeah, I know this looks like a dick. Don't don't look at it. Um, wow, it was so much different from his other stuff. It started out very atmospheric. Sorry, I'm messing with this hat. Pretty awesome. Fun happens. It kind of remind me of the beginning of Damage Inc. when uh, Kirk just like kind of turns his um, value knob up. But that's a side note. All right. Um, but there were guitars in this song. It wasn't like a rap beat or anything like that. There were actual instruments. As I was listening to, it, I was like, "What? What is this?" pop punk or something <laughs> because it had like that um or like kind of like shoegaze or something like that where he um just has a lot of reverb on his voice and just the i guess the acoustic guitar and i kept wondering to myself is this gonna pick up a little bit <laughs> and it, it does once it gets to like that that screaming chorus which definitely sounded like out of something that sounded similar to sipping tea in your hood but it's still like different. It was in a, a whole different type of song. At the end of the song, I was like, wow, this actually had a, a little bit behind it, not just um, like that look at me, fuck on me, you know? And I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed that one. It was it was emo tinged, I think. I don't know if I'm going to get flack for that, but um, I definitely liked it. It would, I was thinking to myself, wow, this this kind of had some, something more behind it, was my general impression. So the next, the next one I'm gonna just listen to real quick and then talk about it is I Spoke to the Devil in Miami. So, see you in a sec. Indeed, you guys are trying to depress me with these songs. <laughs> but yeah, the um, Devil in Miami was very um, different from these other songs that I listened to too. Um, I guess Look at Me and Sippin' Tea were more like um, the angry side of his personality. And this is like, that kind of tone is, is becoming like a theme through these two songs. It's just... I don't, is emo the right word? I don't know. But th this one has more of a religious aspect to it. It was interesting, the beat was just the those soft strings and that piano, like dun, 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 like, it was very simple. And if I'm gonna be honest, I prefer these two songs over the other ones. I mean, Sipping Tea was really cool, just the beat, but uh, this is way deeper. It's more introspective, and I guess, I mean, it could go deeper, but just seeing this, totally other side to a rapper I already had this um, picture in my head of is, is um, really interesting. So I'm starting to see why it has this big internet following now, because um, he's interesting. He, he used a lot of metaphors in the beginning with the sheeps and stuff. They're the repetition of anima vestra, which I looked up and it means in Latin, I guess, your soul. I'm guessing he's giving his soul over to the devil. I like doing this kind of quick type of video where I just watch it and then give my quick thoughts. Um, easier to record. Uh, I just noticed I'm wearing the same shirt as the other XXX video. I might do this with some of the other artists. Maybe I'll even do Bones again if you guys give me stuff that's that's a little bit on the different side of Bones. As far as XXX goes, that definitely painted a different picture for me. And like I said, I preferred these songs. I forgot what I gave them in the other video. Oh, it's I'm, I'm in between a 4 and a 4.5 because it, it just it was such a different picture that I kind of want to give it a 4.5 why not just just for a quick review I'm gonna give these two songs a 4.5 beers out of 5 and um, just remember fun always happens yeah it's just a quick quick little review here um, I will see you guys in the next video that was cool I might do some more of X like always I appreciate you all thanks for watching and cheers, pals.